Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Norland. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. King Charles is just sort of chilling in his house. Uh, I'm going to spend the first part of this video and very quickly talking about a couple of mistakes that I have made. Uh, the first one is I wanted to apologize for probably misleading a lot of you guys. Uh, I did say in the first video that you could check the game out yourself and play the demo link in the description of the first video. It was because I was led to believe, and I think it was my mistake, not theirs. Uh, I was led to believe that the demo would be available for all of you on the time my embargo lifted. And that is apparently not the case. They've sent out the game for marketing purposes to guys like me who have channels to get the name of the game out there, but they did not make the demo available for everyone. I really disagree with that. I, I was really hoping that they would change it after I put the video out. I felt bad about it and I would already had, I already had episode two done. So I was kind of like, okay, well, I mean, shit, you know, what am I going to do? I kind of already started a series and people like it. So I'm going to continue it because that's my job to entertain you and show you the game. Uh, but I will, I'm going to voice a little bit of discontent in that. I, I really wish they had made the demo available for everyone. I understand why they did it for this way. Like, you know, it's marketing. It's really cheap marketing for them. It's almost free, right? I, I get that. But it puts a little sour taste in my mouth that they would make it available for us and not for all of you when it's just a demo. It's, it's a free thing they could have put out. So I don't know their reasons. I'm sure there are good ones if they explained it uh, somewhere. And I haven't read it. Um, so I, I'm not going to like bad mouth them anymore. I'm going to get into their game and then like really analyze it that way. But I just wanted to apologize to any of you who I misled by saying you could check it out in the link in the description and, and all that stuff. Okay. That out of the way, I also asked on their discord server. I didn't get it. I don't think I got an official answer from one of the devs, but, uh, their community is pretty talkative. And, uh, one of them, uh, answered the question in a, in a, in a way that I find to be probably factual, it, it, the way it came across it sounds like they know what they're talking about. What happens? The, the big question I have is what happens if Charles and Clance both have a kid? You know, son or daughter doesn't matter. But if they both have a child, we only have one more Lord slot left, right? So what happens if they both have a kid? You can't have six Lords. How does it work? Okay, well, first off, the king grants titles. So it'll be Charles's responsibility, mine as a player, because I'm going to physically tell them what to do, um, to give the title to one of the kids. So naturally, Charles is heir, right? Um, but then what happens to Glance's kid at that point, right? And the answer to that is when they become of age, when they grow up, they then become a wandering lord. That's the same as what Milena is right now, Okay. She's a wandering lord. She stopped by. She's looking to get hired. She leaves. She goes off to the next place. She comes by. She hopes to get hired. She leaves. She goes off to the next place, etc. That's what Glance's son or daughter will become if that happens, okay? Now, there's one thing we could do. Let's say Glance has a daughter and he has it first. We could find her a family and match them up, you know, for the sake of the whole, like, family alliance thing that they had in this era. We could do that. And then off she goes after she becomes of age. Like if he has a daughter first, she'll be older than my son or daughter or whatever that I have. Right. We could do that. And then we get the form like an alliance from that. We get some benefits from that before my son becomes of, of age and takes the Lord slot. So there's some timing that could work for this, but that's essentially how it works. You are only permitted to have five Lords as part of your family. It's a, it's a charter thing uh, right here. It says for 200 years now, the noble houses of Norland have observed what's called the Charter of Humility, which limits the number of titles per lord in a single family. It's a document that was signed by the barons of the Crimson Empire and the Loving Family, which laid out the foundation for the modern structure of the world. Essentially, it marked the end of the Crimson Empire as it granted independence to the barons of their provinces, which came to be known as the New Kingdoms. Their borders were recognized as inviolable, uh, are inviolable and uh, indivisible. On the other hand, to maintain peace, the barons uh, agreed to open their gates to the Inquisition and limit the number of titles held by lords to reduce conflicts among the heirs to the throne. So there you go. Uh, there's there's the explanation that they've come up for. Okay, so 
I don't know what we're gonna what's gonna happen. I'm interested to see who's gonna have a baby first and what's what we're gonna do with that. Uh, but that's that's how that's going. All right. Now, currently in the in this place, we currently have 43 peasants. I don't know if anyone's going to leave. Sometimes people leave. Sometimes they they don't. Sometimes they do. I want to pause it really quick until they before they wake up. We do have uh, three homeless, five unemployed. Let's see if we can limit that unemployed number. Uh, the hot field, we can employ one more. So we're going to do that. This rye field, we can employ one more. So we're going to do that. And uh, I believe the... I thought the mills could do it too. It doesn't look like it. Okay, so the mills can't... Uh, lumber mill can't. Brewery can't. So I think that's all I can employ right now. So we're still going to have a couple of people uh, with no work. I'm going to move a couple of buildings as well here. So... Uh, I think these guys are getting to be like, it's okay. Distance to wood, uh, going on in here. I think it's okay, but I would like to start clearing this out a little bit faster as we're going to start working towards being able to get herbs. So herbs are over here and there's also a patch of herbs over here that I want to try and get to. And I, I think I'll probably start collecting from here first since there's not a whole lot in my way, I guess, you know, like there's not a lot of trees and stuff in my way, but I can start clearing the woods out here more. And, um, yeah, so I think what I'll end up doing here is I'm going to move this lumber mill. Uh, I don't know if it's necessary to move it just yet. We can also upgrade it. Um, I definitely need to make sure that they do this project first. And I really wish this game, I said it before, I really wish this game gave me the option to tell my builders to work one more hour and give me a huge mood penalty for it, right? Like have it be to where those builders are like the builders that are responsible for building that have them give me like a negative 20 to their loyalty for like two days or something like make it extreme as the penalty but they will do it and they'll do it on this one instance that i tell them to do it and they'll finish that job or don't even say that it only work for another hour maybe make it to where you know finish construction because the fact that they did not build this lord's house in time is causing Rosia to hate me. She's not going to be happy with me. Right now she has a 42 loyalty, so it's down by 8 already. And her mood is terrible. It's negative 14 because of her being homeless. Uh, she's also craving excitement, which is a gambling thing. And we can we can look at that too. Uh, Rosia's got 6 rings. And Alina's got 18. You know what I think Alina and Rosia should do? You know, they should play dice. I think Alina and Rosia should play, should play dice. What do you think? I think so. <laughs> so I think the boat, those two lords are going to play some dice. All right, hold on. Now pause. No, so, so Charles and Glance have both, and Rosia, they've all discovered strong desires within themselves. Didn't see that coming. Okay, so uh, that might disrupt what I was going to talk about. Let's find out. Charles has a strong desire for intimacy. That'll work itself out. Good. Uh, Glance, strong desire for intimacy. Good. Rosia, do you have the same thing? Oh, she wants to eat meat. Strong desire to eat meat. I don't have any meat in storage. Uh, I had some briefly, but I, I'm pretty sure it was sold and ate by someone else. Uh, so that's no good. So we need to uh, do something about that. She also has this symbol. She's got this symbol above her portrait. I don't know what that means. I think it's like, well, her loyalty is now down way, way down now. Yeah, yeah, 35 loyalty now. So maybe that just means she doesn't like the crown. She's she's really against me. Oh, boy. <laughs> What's going to happen? I don't know. They're having a big service right here. Glance is putting doubt in everybody's mind. I think I'm going to probably have to stop that for a while. Yeah. Gathering time here is 41... Uh, I think that means 41 minutes, not meters, I think, because it's the time. But there's, uh, some people are leaving. You can see some, some of these guys are choosing to leave, leaving the settlement, right? They are not the right, uh, fit for us anyway. They are, they're Caden. We're not, we're not wanting them here anyway. <laughs> but it does mean I'm going to lose workers, which also means I no longer have unemployed. That's how that works. If your worker count drops... And your jobs don't go up, but does it's, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, great. Okay. So I think once the Lord's house is done, which they should do first, I need to decide what else we're doing from there. And I think 
I would like to get this mill upgraded. So we're going to have them do that next. And then, of course, they're still building these houses so we can expand on that side too. Uh, now, we just lost a worker over here because of the people that just left. But we have seven migrants coming today. And... Wow, our cultural composition is 13 Caden. That is unhealthy. <laughs> our, our arch nemesis is a third of our population right now. Oh boy. That's going to create some conflicts for sure. I'm going to have to get some security forces up pretty quickly here. Uh, so to do that, I need the book for the stockades. I'm pretty sure it's called something else, but <laughs> scaffold is what it's called. Uh, and this is uh, something I need to help with security around places. So I'm going to have to start looking at that pretty soon. Uh, what was that? Daily statistics. Peasants left. So we had two pe peasants leave. And five people became vagabonds. Wow. Five of them. That's nuts. Okay. Vagabonds steal flour from warehouses, rob citizens in the streets, even break into peasants' homes. After a few days, they may become cutthroats. So... Definitely need to do something about the Vagabond population because we are going to have a problem in our own borders now uh, pretty quickly. We're now down to 37 uh, peasants. We're losing population right now because of this problem. Um, now, thankfully, the Lord has a house now, so that's going to be a good thing. Uh, everybody's going to get paid today. Everybody's going to get their, their money. We have six migrants coming in today, I guess, instead of seven now. It's kind of wild. Um says average mood is 49. That's crazy that five already became vagabonds. Wow. Negative thoughts is the king of another culture. Well, I mean, yeah. You guys are Caden. You chose to be here. <laughs> right? Go go somewhere else. So I'm going to have to do something about the Caden population. We're going to have to purge these guys from our streets. Uh, and I'm thinking we probably are going to have to mistreat them. I don't want to do that. But that's kind of what you got to do in this game in order to get, them, get rid of them. You got to mistreat them. Uh, it's going to be a little racist, but it's the only way to get rid of them. Sorry. Uh, too many vagrants in the city. Yeah, I got to I got to do that, too. So I can't learn about the stockades, uh, the scaffold. Sorry. I can't learn about that until the book gets here, and I don't have the book for it. What I can do is learn about um, Chancellery would be okay, but I don't have paper and stuff yet, so that doesn't matter. Uh I just have to wait for that book to get here. I do know keeping prisoners, so that's going to help. We could build the, uh, uh, where is it? I thought it would be in service, but it's not. Is it in army? Housing? Oh, prison ward, right. We could build the prison ward. That would be a good idea, I think, probably. Let's keep that. Uh, I don't really want to keep it by the Lord's house. We'll put it over here. Yeah, over here sounds fine. We'll put the prison ward over here. And it can store up to 21 people in that building. So we'll build that instead. Now, all these buildings have are under workers now. They're, they don't have the, the number of workers that I want them to have. And that's just because we lost people. But as soon as the migrants come in, that sh problem should work itself out, I hope. What are the other warnings we have here? Uh, yeah, the Lord's loyalty is decreasing. I think that's, that's what that upside down... Uh, crown means. She just really has a strong desire to eat meat. Did she play dice? She did and she lost. <laughs> Too few rings. Okay, here's what I'm going to do for you, Rosia. All right. Because you lost your rings. Alina has a lot of rings now. How many rings? 23 rings. She has way more rings than Charles does. Oh my goodness. My wife holds my rings. Here's what we're going to do. All right, I am going to, with Rosia, I'm going to give you some rings, okay? Uh, as a king, I'm going to reward you. I'm going to reward her with five rings. My wife took the rings from you, and I don't want you to have a terribly low status. And I know you hate me right now. So, to help... You know, bygones be bygones, all that stuff. Can we can we live and forget? You know, start over. Let's let's reset. Here's five rings for you. And now she likes me way more. She's like, okay, good. This king is thinking of me. Good. Uh, but now I only have 15 rings, and I don't know if that's going to be a good thing. Uh, many rings. Okay, so it's still it's still good. 
If they have 15 or even better, more than 25 Holy Rings, their social status increases, which brings them pleasure. So 15 is like the cutoff. So and if you have less than 15, you're not gonna you're gonna feel bad. Alina's doing really well, and they have decided to to go ahead and spend some time together without me having to say anything. See, now they're all gonna drink together. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. So all you have to do is like you know sleep with each other, and your torturous desire. Oh, Rosea's desire just got fulfilled. So she just ate me. Excellent. That's gonna put her in a wonderful mood now. She had to drink moonshine with it, but whatever. She's in a wonderful mood now. Glance acquired. What did that say? Glance acquired knowledge. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What did that say? Oh, I wish that. Can I go back? These these messages they don't stay up far, uh, long enough. Glance acquired knowledge during a conversation. Varn's language dictionary. Oh, okay. Okay. Wait. So. Yeah, I don't. I don't get to see the. I want to. I want to like Rim World where you can go back and like see the whole thing. But I, I can't see those messages. I don't know how to bring them up again. There's too many vagrants in the city. Now there are six vagrants in the city. So we, we definitely need to do something about our internal crime problem for sure. You can prevent them from showing up by making sure that they all have houses and making sure that they all have jobs. Right? That's pretty much how that works. Uh, yeah. And now the couples are flattering each other. That's good. If you could, you know, satisfy your torturous desire for intimacy tonight, that would be great. Or you could go to bed separately, I guess, if that's just your thing. Uh, I do need that pig farm up and running so we can get some meat going. That would be a really good thing. Um, and then I think maybe just so Charles could, I don't know if this is a good idea. <laughs> Charles, could you get your rings back by, uh, <clears throat> playing dice with your, with your, with your wife? Gift to the king. Oh yeah. Ask for a donation. Uh, yeah. So her loyalty will be bad. I, I wanted to, I wanted to play dice for it. Yeah. 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 Now nah, I might lose. Now nah, let's not play the wife. She's, she's pretty good. I bet her intellect is higher than mine, yeah? No, it's only three. I have a chance to beat her. Yeah, go on. Now, what, she, what good is it? <laughs> Let's just do it. I'm feeling lucky. Let's go. Play dice with your wife. Uh, with Charles. Or we can play with Glance. Ooh, Glance could take them, though. She could just take all the rings. Oh, my God. She could take so many rings. Yeah, go take them from Glance. Oh, that would be a bad idea, though. It's 56% that she could lose, but that's okay. My brother gets the rings or my wife has the rings. I think I win either way. <laughs> Just as long as Rosia doesn't have them. <sighs> now, what is she doing? They were talking about somebody else. Oh, Rosie was spreading rumors about uh, Mertumbra. So that is our bishop that was sent to us by the church. That's who this guy is. He is sent here with our temple to like basically he's like the church's spy all right and the church will be happier with us the more fanatics we have and the more that we side with them okay i believe that's who this guy is uh yeah he's the the, the bishop of the loving family right this guy here i think he's more of a just like a traveling fanatic kind of kind of guy here i think that's who he is but he's the actual bishop and i believe he needs housing too yeah, because he's homeless. So he counts as a lord. He needs a lord's housing as well. So he's the homeless one now. <laughs> oh, good. All right. So I'm going to have to have another lord's house. And that's going to be where the bishop's... I'm going to make the whole bishop's house go like right here. That way I can tell his house apart. All right. That's where the bishop's going to sleep. I didn't quite get the, pr the prison ward done, but I think that's okay. Um, the important thing we have to keep in keep track of is whether or not... We are making enough food because that is always the most difficult thing in this game I found is to keep the flour up. I just, I, I said it earlier. I don't think these mills produce enough food. They certainly don't seem to produce what they advertise that they produce. You'll notice that we only have 13 flour left in inventory. It says we have a plus 10. I don't know how that could possibly be true. Um, because again, these buildings should be producing 19 per worker. Um, and like we should be producing a lot more than 10 um, because they worked all day. But that does not seem to be the case, especially when we have a, uh, a very high. Uh, let me see. You have we have a very uh, oh, Alina and Shiva are having a fight. I have to take a look at that. Um, we have a high amount of rye, so we shouldn't have a problem producing the flour. But that's kind of what's happening right now. I don't see that producing what it says it's going to produce. So. Alina is in a fight with 
this dude? Who the heck does this guy think he is? Who is this guy? I can't click him. I, I, I can't click him. That's weird. I can't click anything. Charles, wake up. Now, this isn't like RimWorld where I can say, hey, Charles, go do things. Right? I, I can't do that. I can't. I mean, the only thing I could do is I could go social, spend time with maybe, but like th that's it. I can't do anything else to like make him come over here. This is the guy right here. Now I can do this. Punish. I can't punish because I don't have a scaffold. So he's just a peasant with a two combat skill who is attacking my, he's attack, basically attacking the lady of the land right here. And I don't know if he's, I kind of looks like he's winning. She has a shield and armor. This guy's toast, right? I mean, he should be. He's causing massive injuries to her. I hope, she, I hope she wins. Yeah. Kick his ass, Seabass. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Oh, he's just dead. You've just killed him. Good. That's, that's karma right there. Instant karma, sir. <laughs> no need for scaffolds. We dish out our own justice right on the spot. Judge, jury, executioner. <laughs> go, Alina. <laughs> All right. Well, that takes care of that. Um, I want to move this lumberjack up here so they can start, you know, cutting things down a little bit closer there. And I think this side is probably good, but I almost want to move it down here. I think I will. I think I'm going to move this to be down over here instead. So we don't really need to cut these trees down at the moment. I'm, I'm mostly just trying to move the lumberjacks to be closer to the supply of wood that they're interacting with. And I think probably if I move this over a little bit, like, uh, I, I want to, I want to move this. I want to move the warehouse closer over here, but I don't think it's worth it. Actually, never mind. We're not going to bother with that. All right. So, uh, effectively, I think I've covered most of the stuff I wanted to talk about, uh, initially, I would like to see about getting the herbalist, but that requires me of course to read the books. And since my lords and stuff were so busy yesterday doing all sorts of things, they weren't able to get to reading the books. Alina and Glance are the only ones actually reading a book act actively right now. So we probably should get the king on doing something. I think king is going to work on learning. You can learn herbalist so we can get that going. And then I want... I mean, Mace Stun is interesting, isn't it? That's probably what the king should learn. Yeah, how Hulk is he's at 82% Alina's? You know what? I'll put, I'll put Alina on Herbalist. She's almost done with this, and she's got a lot higher intellect, right? No, it's three. Glance is the only one with a really high intellect. Yeah. Huh. I do want that Mace Stun, though. Your lords of warriors will have three times the chance of stunning with maces regardless of their skill. I just love that because we can just use maces. Maces are great. But it doesn't help my economy right now. So, yeah. Tell you what. How about we try this? Flavorful ale. We'll go ahead and have the king learn flavorful ale. And then Alina will study herbalist as soon as she's done with her current study, which is the cooking meat uh, upgrade. All right, we'll have her do that. And then Rosia, I mean, there's no reason not to have her reading something, right? Um, I, what I could do instead, though, so she doesn't have many things to manage, is I could give her some of the management jobs that Alina's currently doing, right? So I could, like, re-delegate this one. She has a really good management skill. So I could re-delegate these things to be Rosia instead. And uh, I think that will probably take care of it. That's a good thing to do. And then... Um, the brewery as well could go to her too. So that gives less jobs to Alina and that means she can spend more time reading the books. I like it. All right, we're going to get five more migrants today. Again, a third of our population is our arch nemesis. That's just really unfortunate that that happened. Uh, Alina's discovered a strong desire within themselves. Another desire to eat meat. She has been reading about meat a lot. So I guess I understand that. I'm going to get Glance off of this to make agnostics because 
Well, I don't know if I want to be in a good grace with the church or not, but you can see the matriarch's relationship is now listed up here as a plus 12. And these are the factors that uh, are associated with that right now. So the number of the fanatics in the city, we only have, we don't have very many fanatics. And the church wants us to have many religious fanatics, right? And so because we don't have very many fanatics, there's a negative six to their opinion of me. All right. Now the bishop's personal opinion also plays a role. So we could have very few fanatics and, you know, we have, um, you know, the fact that we're just new right now, it, it automatically gives us a big bump, but that goes away right so when that goes away they're gonna have a negative with us so i actually need to spend time charles specifically needs to spend time with Murtumra here so that um he can like me and report good things to and again glance doesn't sleep so no sleeping for glance ever <laughs> he'll he'll sleep here really quickly and that's it charles thanked alina for what oh what's this Oh, request for assistance in Moon Realm again. What the heck, man? These guys are... I, I just happened to draw, like... There's war all around me right now. There's so many, like, bandit camps and stuff, too. I'd really like to get into the combat of the game. Don't get me wrong. I, I'm not trying to actively avoid it. It's just... I tend to be, in many games, almost every game I play, I tend to be economics-focused first. I want to get supply chain. I like those types of systems. I don't tend to play a lot of games that have combat in them as most of the people who watch this channel will attest to. Um, I, I tend to be more economic focused, uh, but you know, I think, I, I don't know if we're stable with food yet. That's what I really need to figure out is if we're actually stable with food and um, I'm not, I'm not seeing that. So I need to take one of you workers off of this and make sure that you're here. I, I need more people to be working in the mills. We just lost population again. It's just not growing. I don't understand it. They just keep leaving. They arrive and then they leave. I'm hoping that it's the Caden that are leaving, but it doesn't look like it. But I, either way, I need more people to be producing. So there says there's plus four in here right now. And this building right here has plus 10. So that's 14 plus 15. So it's showing that up here. This is the proper number plus 15, right? So we're getting that much. And we now have the new knowledge of cooking meat. So when we do get the pig farm done, which Glance has not been reading because he's been too busy, you know, passing out. I don't know what Glance is doing now. Hopefully he's he's probably managing something. Hey, he's up here giving instructions to this field. So once he gets the pig farm done, we'll be able to cook the meat and then it will have a bigger effect on everybody. That'll be great. In the meantime, Alina, you can now research the herbalist. Yeah, I think the herbalist is what I'd like you to research now. Rosia has seven intelligence. No, she doesn't. Is that because she's in a good mood? I think she's got that inspiration thing, right? Fulfilled desire, meaningful conversation. What's the what's the status symbol for that? The fact that she's in a really good mood. I thought that was something I could see. Didn't I see that before? Uh, This one here. Inspired. Yes, she's inspired. Okay. Well, if she's inspired, we can use that inspiration for today anyway. Um, I don't think I can though. I mean, the day is half over and I have to commit to her reading the book the whole time. So she's going to read a little fast today and then the rest of the time really slowly. I don't think that's worth it. I'm going to make sure Alina does this. We're going to say Alina learns about, well, I, yeah, I'm just going to put Alina on a herbalist and then, you know what? We'll have Rosia work on the training ground, I guess. That's fine. Okay. So we're going to have all the lords learning something. If they end their downtime, they'll learn something. I need Charles, though, to take a quick break from his flavorful ale, ale work. And let's have him spend a little bit of time with Murtumra here. Because his important... It's negative three to me right now. So I want to spend a little bit of time with him, if I can. Um, his manners are a 10. Yikes. Mine are four. So that might be a challenging thing, but we're going to see. So we're going to spend some time with the bishop here, see if we can't improve our relations with him a little bit. That might buy us a little bit of favor with the church. Because again, that, that whole like the new Episcopate thing is going to go away. And when that goes away, like we're now going to have a negative rating 
with the church because of the lack of fanatics. And we have been actively preaching not to have fanatics, so that is also going to be a problem. Right, let's let that run. Rosia we'll gives credit to Lance, Glance. Yada 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 yada. All right, did we do, did we did it work? Did it work? Uh, if I go to him, relationships. Charles plus is it plus 18 plus eight all right well, at least we have a positive relationship with him now instead of a negative one we'll we'll keep working on that as well also I'm apparently hugging Alina right in the yep we're just hugging in the library we were gonna get on to something else in the library you know like but then Rosia came and spoiled the fun so whatever glances being lazy I mean he never sleeps so yeah he's he's waking up immediately without any rest just the way that's going. I think, honestly, your desire for intimacy and all that stuff really needs to be satisfied. I think both of you really need to do that. Interest in the character, negative one. You have scars. He has scars. Whoa. Those injuries he took before, that scarred him. Negative one interest in the character. The good thing you're beautiful. You're beautiful, but you have scars. Uh, Rosia. I'm going to have you spend some time go hunting with your husband. I don't think that's necessary. That's just risking more. Uh, that's risking more injury. No, thanks. Go have uh, a good. Go have time with your with your husband. Uh, and Lena, you're going to do the same thing with Charles. So I, I want to get these guys that intimacy desire done. I need to get that uh, settled so they can be in good mood. So I'm going to tell them to spend some time together. All right, let's see how this happened. Right? Where is the flower that we produced today? Because I'm at 11 right now. 39. Plus, we, we, we got 65 flower today. Okay. That makes me feel better. Assuming that actually goes in. Right now, it says 39. So, does that mean everybody already purchased it? Or, no, now I'm down to 26. I mean, if we actually did produce 65 flower today, then there's no reason we can't feed 42 people. Right? That makes sense to me. Make sure there's no one employed. Yeah. I think that's what that means. Because everybody here should be buying the flower. Yep. And the number is not going down here. So I think this is post-purchase. Everybody's end-of-day purchases. This is after that. Okay. That's starting to line up a little bit more reasonably now. I can, I can dig that. That's fine. And he's got a house now. So he should feel better about it too. All right, everybody spent some time together today. Good for you guys. Awesome. Yep. Okay. No intimacy, apparently, but that's okay. At least you're, you know, complimenting each other, playing nice. Good, good, good. All right, let me let this run for a little bit. I will need to build additional homes here. And you can see, like, the peasants, they have their own homes. And when they have their own home, they, they should feel happy about having separate housing. They get a plus 14 mood just for having separate housing. So I want to build more of these peasant houses to keep them uh, happier. I want to have them give them their own houses for this. So like I could do something like um, one, you know, two. Apparently I can't put it there. That sucks. The Yeah, the beach is too close. Okay, well, we'll have to come down a little bit more then. So let's uh, delete that one. And we'll put the peasant's house. I've been saving up a little bit of wood, right? We got 200 wood left over here. So there's two. Uh, we'll leave a little bit of gap. Let's leave a little gap like this. Yeah, let's let's do that. Three, four, five. Uh, leave a gap. And we'll go... Uh, tell you what, why don't we... Why don't we just do that for now, okay? We'll, we'll do that for now. Now, what should happen here, I believe is as I make these houses available, they should be moving out of the dorms and into those houses. So that'll just free up space in the dorms. So new arrivals will take the dorms. I think that's how that goes. I, I don't know it, but I think that's how that goes. And then obviously we have the prisoners uh, stuff here. So if we ever get prisoners, which if we get the food population under control, population, no, the food supply under control, and we can see that working, um, you know, at that point, I can, uh, I can start taking prisoners if I want to, because it means I have now labor, but I don't need to pay them. I just provide them with food. And it's kind of like slave labor. Yeah, that's a thing. But it can be very helpful in getting our, our citizens, uh, our supply up and running and getting really healthy economy. 
And then I can start freeing the slaves as I can afford it. I still have too many vagrants. I still have seven people who are stealing things. And that's probably another reason for us to have low food, food supply and stuff is because of that. I don't think I've seen the trader come today. So he has to come. He has to come today, right? He didn't come yesterday. So he's got to come today because he's got the book. I need to, I need to buy the book. Can't learn anything without the book, man. All right. He is, the bishop's going to lead this now, which means he's going to be creating more fanatics. It's, naturally, he's going to be doing that. And uh, if that's the case, right, we're going to start seeing the number of fanatics in the city. Uh, it's going to go up. The overall opinion of me right now is plus eight. Uh, ambitions, 90%. Uh, a lot of unemployed. No, there's no unemployed, but there's too many, still people leaving. I'm hoping that they're all Caden. That's a Varns. Oh, no. A Varns leaving the settlement. Wow. Yeah, I'm not sure how to make them happier. Because we should be making beer. We're growing our own hops. And we've got herbs. So we should be making beer. Right? Isn't that how that works? Actually, not sure how that works. Tell you what, why don't we upgrade this building? We can get two people working here. And that could be helpful in, uh, you know, making more alcohol. Maybe if there was more alcohol available, because I don't see beer. Yeah, beer, moonshine, favorable ale, all that stuff is actually gone in supply. That will probably help if they had that kind of stuff available it'd probably help so 30 down to 36 people now all right so it says we have forest bandits in our lands forest bandits are here now they're not doing anything with us yet but they are in our lands and they haven't really settled on anything yet it doesn't look like okay so i got some problems i have to deal with here of course right the population keeps declining right after it grows and it's saying foreigners are pushing us out and that's kind of how it's happening, right? Because of the war on the map, the migrants are moving down away from the war zone. And these are Caden people moving down into our lands to settle here. And our people are upset about this. They don't want to be here anymore, so they're moving away. And so my population just continues to get more and more out of culture, if you will, from where it started. So now Caden are occupying more than, I mean, my math is probably bad here, but they're like more than more than a third of our population, right? Um, and that that is a problem, uh, a big problem. So much so, in fact, that now Varns are only half of our, citizen, civil, uh, our citizens are Varns. That's an issue. I have to be able to control that. So as soon as, and look, look at this, Glance just received an enlightenment lumber mill upgrade. Hold on, I want to look at this. So Glance just got inspired for the lumber mill upgrade. Good. That means we can now maximum, uh, we can upgrade lumber mills to their maximum level now. And uh, of course, if we do that, it means we can have up to five people in them, which is great. Um, I can also now also put more people in the brewery to help out here too. I should be able to get more beer. And you can see I'm getting, I have plus five on the moonshine and plus four on the beer. So when I set my, my resource limits on this stuff, I can have it set to where we produce only a certain amount of moonshine and then the rest is beer, that kind of thing, right? And so they're going to do both of those things. They make both of those things, and that's a good thing. If we have higher quality stuff, then, you know, the lords will take the higher quality stuff if, it, if it's available. But everyone else will want to buy it too. So that's a problem as well. So I'll go to finances really quick here. Beer costs five per unit. Moonshine is three. What I'm going to do is raise the price of beer to six. That might make people happy, but they can still buy the moonshine for three if they want. The flavorful ale, I'm going to keep it at 10. Flour is still four. Um, and then meat's going to be at 10. I'm going to change that to nine. Make it a little bit more affordable for everybody. And then I think wages are fine the way they are. Um, I'd love to raise it, but I, I'm not certain on the, if I did, if I did that, look at the difference in costs there. Like it goes from like, that's a sizable decrease to my coffers. I need to make sure that the budget's going up. If the budget's going up, then fine. I can raise it to make them, you know, happier that way. But, um, I'm not sure that it is. I'm going to move this building 
It needs to be closer to something else. Closer to the wood, at least. I'm going to put it right over here, like this. Yep, I'm going to put it over there. And then most likely what you'll do is you'll bring your supply directly to this building now. Instead of going all the way over to this. And in fact, I'm sure of that enough to where I'm going to move the warehouse to be here. And now I'm pretty confident that you guys will not take it to the warehouse. You'll be over here instead. Okay, good. So when the new people come in, I don't know who they'll be. They'll probably be a large number of Caden because of that war happening right now. I need to start flushing them out. I have to get rid of the Caden people because it's causing my own culture to leave my lands. And that's not good for my dynasty, right? I mean, it's, it's not about being a fair democracy here. It's not about being some modern country of inclusivity. Uh, it's about controlling. And, and that's, that's the name of the game in, in, back in this era. I have to do that. And so uh, my authoritarian system demands that I do something about this. So I can't believe you haven't satisfied your torture, torturous desire for intimacy yet. That's crazy that you haven't done that yet, Charles. How have you not done this yet? You're, you're crazy right now. Social, spend time with... Uh, oh, I mean, Alina. I thought I was controlling Charles. Go. I'm like, Charles, spend time with Charles? That's not possible. He goes, well, I guess it is. You can go spend time with yourself. Yeah, yeah. See, they're going on a date today. Perfect. Both of them are having a date today. So, we all know that Rosia has a higher chance of getting pregnant, but... Cross our fingers and hope Alina can pull it off. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, so, yeah, that war is a problem right now, right? These guys are going back and forth at each other, and it's causing all those guys to come in here. We now have bandits in our lands, although I don't see them in here, but it did briefly tell me that I did. It says I have a lot of them. I don't have any employed anymore. That can go away. I don't have that problem anymore. Um... There are no servants in the hall. What? Hold on. That's no good. Let's take these guys off building. And now there should be servants in the hall. Why? Less builders. More servants. There it goes. Yeah, we need them in the hall right now. We need to make sure that the, the alcohol and stuff is in plentiful supply, man. All right. Charles and Alina are spending time in bed. Glance's desire has been fulfilled as well. There you go. Okay, everybody's got their desires filled. That's what I'm talking about. If one of you guys could kindly get pregnant, that would be great. Why is your face green? Are you feeling sick? Ah, there it is. Alina. So, she, I don't know, it came, became green, but uh, she is now expecting a child apparently that's what happens to her face when she gets pregnant and they're all very happy about it Woo yay initially uh, i get it so she's feeling sick they may experience nausea and slowed walking okay shortly before giving birth the character will be unable to walk and there's a small chance of both the mother and the baby dying okay always yeah the birth of a new life is expected in 72 hours Okay. Obviously, it's an accelerated timeline. Rosie, on the other hand, not expecting. Excellent. That's outstanding news, everyone. So, Charles pulled it off despite the odds. Love it. All right. So, we'll have to see what happens there. Uh, new knowledge game for book, Pig Farm. Excellent. If we can ever maintain our population and keep people happy, that would be great. We'd have all these houses built now. So, our population should be like... You know, mostly living in their own houses. Each one of these holds two citizens. So, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, right? 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 24, 28. We have housing for 28 peasants in their own individual housing. That means we have should have two empty dormitories at the moment, right? Like, two whole empty dormitories worth of space here to bring in more people. There's just too many Caden in our place. And I haven't seen them come by with the books yet. I've been paying attention. Maybe I just missed it, but I mean, I haven't seen them come by for trading the books yet. I would really like to get that happening, you know? All right. I think the next thing to study then is 
God, we've almost learned every book we have because they just haven't come by to give me more. Um, let's have Charles. You can uh, glance. I guess glance could do it. Yeah, I, I want you to rewrite it though. Mace stun. Because we can sell that book later. I'd want you to rewrite it. I'm going to have Glance write the Mace Stun book. If we can do that, um, you know, obviously we can sell it later. Uh, and then that is also going to be, yeah, Alina is pregnant with Charles's child. Yep, that's great. Has the announcement been formally made? Everyone knows now? Yay for everyone. We can all celebrate your upcoming baby. All right. As the as the Aussies would say, we got a bub. Uh, let's say, how about? Uh, okay, yeah, I'm just gonna have to wait it out. Um, I, I think, I think we're able to keep up on the food, especially since our population isn't growing. Uh, Rosia and Safeka have started a fight. Who is Safeka? A Caden, of course. Pursuing the enemy, of course. Um, is it possible? by chance to uh hey charles you're just gonna walk past and let yeah glance is gonna come help <laughs> charles just walks on past is like yeah rosia can take care of herself no nope. glance is like i'm gonna beat your ass hey this is one way to get rid of the caden in our camp oh yeah hit him while he's down absolutely finish him off sure he dead now She's a little injured, but she's also drunk. At least she didn't feel it, you know? I mean, she didn't feel it as much. Alcohol does numb the pain receptors a little bit there, doesn't it? So now there's only 12, Caden, instead of 13. That's one way to get rid of the garbage. <laughs> Take out the trash, man. There you go. Uh, but the other way is to get a freaking scaffold. And man, would I love the book. I'm going to wait just a couple, like one more day. If they don't come tomorrow, I guess I'll just bring you back in and we'll... I don't see what to do. Maybe I could have to you have to send a trader somewhere to get this. And normally I'm used to them just coming to me as a trader, but maybe I have to go out and venture into the world to find the book. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Normally they come from this side of the map and make their way in here, but that hasn't happened yet. Glance has an inspiration now. All of his skills are greatly improved. That's going to help with the writing of this book. That'll help a lot with the writing of the book. So hopefully he... Oh, his desire has become even stronger. His desire for intimacy again? Dude, you just made the baby. You just did this. That's a little... It's a little much, okay? I'm sorry that you feel that way, but you like... You just knocked her up. <laughs> it hasn't even been a day, dude. And now you've got this really big negative 38... Desire for intimacy. Okay, man. He's just really lonely, I guess. Glance, get in there and write the book. Quest for assistance. Moon Realm. Honestly, I want you guys to just go down. I'm hoping that we could just take Moon Realm down. You know, can we just do that? I think the bishop is spreading rumors about my woman here. He's down here talking to the lumberjacks about about my wife. Maybe he's letting them know that she's with child. Maybe that's what's happening. I don't know. I'm building some more houses. Just trying to potentially get ahead of this thing. Uh, so we now have 42 again. Um, we got more Varns this time than Caden. That's good. I still have not seen the trader. They just have not arrived. It's been like five days. Uh, and wait. Oh, there they are. Oh, about time time. Okay. They're arriving today. So I should hopefully be able to get the scaffolding book today. And it's arriving at a really good time because Alina is about to finish studying for herbalist. And uh, as soon as she's done doing that, we can start scaffolding immediately. Uh, oh, there's a flesh wolf attack. Oh, oh my God. Did you just scare my trader away? Don't you dare. Oh my God. This dude is so brave. Oh, that prisoner. He's a prisoner. Oh, that's screwed. No, dude, are they running away? Noble Lord won't, uh, <laughs> experiencing a panic attack. What's your stats? 
You have a five combat skill and a two in command. Eleven persuasion. That's not bad. She's Caden though. You're Caden and you're you're having a panic attack because of a wolf attack. Oh my god! They just mauled this guy. Ah, oh, that's that's unfortunate for all of you. Um, I still want to trade, bro. Goes to trade. Okay. Uh, can you guys? Are the wolves done? Can you leave them alone, please? I I need books. So please leave them alone. Yeah, herbalist research is complete now. Very good. All right, so if the trader can show up, that would be great. I don't have a lot of gold, but my budget is pretty stable, okay? And I am actually, because I haven't been buying anything from traders this entire time, uh, I have noticed that um, my, my, my gold is actually rising. So at least there is that. I'm going to say that Charles... Oh, he has to actually reach the settlement before he's ready to go. Okay, well, let's hope... Oh, due to bad mood, Charles refused to complete your task. Why is he in a bad mood? It's this desire for intimacy. And he's, like, super hungry and stuff, too. So weird. Like, you should definitely be, like, taking care of yourself, man. Well, I should still be able to trade with somebody else. Let's go ahead and have, head and have Alina do it, since she's in a better mood. And, uh... Let's have you... She's in a different outfit, too. Her her icon looks different. Where is she? I want to see what she looks like on the map. I think she's behind these guys. Uh, I want book. Book. Show me scaffolding somewhere. Scaffold. Right here. I need that. I need that at least. And then uh, let's get... Mm, fertilize correctly could be a good one to have. I definitely just want the scaffolding for now, though. I think that's probably the best one to go with for now. Um, I'm thinking about buying some more rings. But I really like the, the king to do that. See, she has enough rings. I don't really... I want the king to have this. And I think if she buys them, then it goes to her, I want to say. I don't know if that's the case. Maybe not. This is the... It says 15. I'm pretty sure she personally has more than that. Right? She has 18. But it shows 15 in inventory here, and that's what I have as Charles. So I'm thinking maybe she is trading on behalf of the king. If that is the case, I'm going to buy five more rings as well. What can I sell? Probably the iron. I'm not using it much yet. It's been mostly just gifted to me, so we're going to use that as currency for now. Um... And uh, market saturation, it doesn't start to affect it until I give a little bit more. I have a lot of rye, more than I can use apparently. So why don't we go ahead and, and sell a bunch of that, at least until we saturate the market. And then we can start pulling back. There we go. Uh, so now we're going to get that book. Yeah, we'll get that book and the five holy rings for just 70 gold. I'm okay with that for now, I think. Um, do I want prisoners? Do I want any additional laborers, right? Remember, I can free them. Um, this one's 43. Doesn't want to run away. Uh, fertility plus five, which is fine because they can have children with, you know, they'll be peasants and they can have children with other peasants and they'll all be barns, right? Um, that's not bad. Um... I have a little bit of cash. I'd like to have that free labor if possible. I do have the prisoner barracks already. So why don't I get Silovod? I want to see what this part of the game is like. Um, and Chesta. So we'll get these two. All right. That'll be the trade. And they should live here. That will be... That's This is going to be where they live. And um, we have one guy in here that just sort of keeps an eye on the prisoners so they we do have two prisoners in that prisoner ward right there and uh and that's where that goes okay so now that causes right here prisoners right here now i'm wondering how that plays on the global politics does having prisoners do anything to me right 
Uh, there's also more prisoners here. Bandit leader is wishing, wishing to sell six slaves. The bandit leader, there are seven bandits here. I could take down the bandits and then liberate the slaves or bring them back and have them for my own. I don't know. Uh, but currently, I just want to see if there's any negative impacts on the Varns, right? Because we looked at that before. It's like Varns didn't like prisoners or whatever, but um, I, I don't see that here. At least not yet. I mean, maybe the word hasn't gotten out kind of thing yet. But I would like to see if there is... Um, if there's any consequence to that too. So I'm mostly just doing this to see how it affects the game. Rosia put glance in their place. <laughs> oh, what did you say, good sir? What did you say? Huh? <laughs> I love that. That's so good. Uh, and obviously you want to dismiss her. I'd love to just like, I don't know, kick her out of here. This should be an action that banishes her from the lands. You get out of here. Never come back. Uh, oh, well. So how's the prisoners work? You're, you're just in here. You hang out in here and that's it, right? I guess. Um, so uh, knowledge. We want to go scaffold right here. I'm going to have Alina learn scaffolding. She only has a three for intelligence. It's a pretty simple book, though, and everyone else is already st studying other things. So we're going to let her study this. And then that's going to allow me... Yeah, this. This right here needs to stop happening. Because this is effectively people coming in, trying to steal our stuff. These vagrants are coming in, trying to steal our stuff. And we're catching them in the act. And then we're fighting them because we're catching them. Right? And these are not always other cultures uh, pursuing the enemy. So this is Makad trying to do this. This is this person trying to do this to us. Now, Alina's going to come in there and help out Charles. Which is good, because that dude's got enough scars already. <laughs> oh my god. Charles, defend yourself! Seriously, sir. Yeah, he just gets bashed in, and he's dead now. Right, but that, that can stop happening if we can start actually punishing people. And so I need those scaffolds in order to be able to do that. Okay, so we're dealing with a lot of vagrant problems. Uh, we have unemployed still. Um... Let's hire a couple more builders to keep people employed. I don't want any more vagrants if I can help it. Or vagabonds. I think it's called vagabonds, not vagrants. I keep calling them vagrants, but that's just because it's the word in my... The word is in my head, okay? So, leave me alone. Vagabonds. Okay. They're going to constantly... Say, it's why you keep calling it vagrants. Stop putting that in there. I'm gonna, the comments are going to be going nuts with it. I'm going to say, look, guys. All right. You know what I meant, all right? Effective communication is all about portraying an idea, a message being sent and received. All right. You received my message. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> English is hard sometimes. Okay. Especially reading big words, like, like three syllable words, like vagabonds. All right. This is very big. Did you just leave Charles there? He's just lying there. I don't know why. Why are you just lying there, Charles? He's sleeping. Sleep deprived. Oh, one of the peasants have to go and take him. Alina's like, Shh, my husband's an idiot. He didn't want to sleep, so you can take him with you. See, now we have more fanatics because the bishop has done it, right? The bishop's creating fanatics, and now their opinion of us is going to be much improved. And now Rosia has a desire for more rings. So that makes sense. She should. Charles has 20 rings. Because we did buy more with uh, our money on the trade there. We did buy more. And uh, the, these guys, the workers, the, the prisoners, where do they work, I wonder? Can I make sure that they just work here? I'm going to say prisoners. Priority to prisoners right here. So that the prisoners hopefully work right here. It's just really close by. You guys will work at the mill. Right? You don't have to travel very far. You're just going to be there. And meanwhile, pretty much all of my regular citizens have their own housing. So they shouldn't be complaining about any of this with the whole dormitory thing. I might even be able to break down these dormitories. It happens instantly. I don't think I get any resources back for doing that, though. It does say that there are 7 out of 10 residents in this. Do people not move to individual housing? These are full. 
So are most of these empty? That makes no sense. People should totally be moving into their own individual houses. Yeah, these are full. They got two apiece. Yeah, I just I just miscounted on how many people I actually had in my town, I guess. Okay, cool. All right, Goryland, as a result of aging, forgot Coal Furnace. I don't know who that is, but good for him. The farm soil will soon deplete. Stock up on wood. Oh, right, because we have to burn wood to re to redo the to fertilize the fields. Right, right, right. That's a thing. I've forgotten about that. Well, uh, we're not going to build much. So let's do that. I think what I'd rather do, though, is go ahead and spend a little bit of resources on upgrading the mills one more time. Okay, we just got something. Ambitions achieved. Your king has achieved his goals, and now everyone will know him as Charles Fruitful. <laughs> However, the ambition of kings knows no bounds, and soon, new ambitions will occupy his mind. Oh, of course. They never, never have too many ambitions. He's spreading rumors about Alina right in front of her. I thought that was a little bit interesting to see. Um, and then I've told Charles to... Uh, Silo Love is making him look like a making Rosia look like a fool. Oh uh, yeah, I, I told Charles to go uh, wolf hunting with Silo Love, but that's not happening. It's just apparently not going to do it. I guess uh, I am going to, however, play some dice with him because he's got eighteen rings, and I'd like to take some of those. I'd like to I'd like to win some rings. So I'm gonna play some dice. All right, we're gonna see what happens here. I've also got uh, five warnings up here too. Crimes going unresolved. I know. I'm I'm working on it. I don't know how to. I got five cutthroats in here now, and so like we got people who are gonna try to kill the king and you know kill the lords and stuff. I'm working on it. All right. I gotta get the stupid book read. Um, maybe what I could do is I guess I could hire some mercenaries. But for so like so far, we're able to take care of it. Glance is having a, a wonderful time over there. Yeah. Yeah. Charles was unable to move because he just passed out, I guess. Uh, but he did win the rings. So uh, we, got, we got that at least. But yeah, like th these cutthroats are here. I, I would do my best to try to give him. The, the problem I have with it is like once somebody becomes a vagabond, there doesn't seem to be a way to get them to no longer be a vagabond, I guess, you know? Like if I provide jobs and... A good quality life. They're still going to commit crimes no matter what. I guess it's because like they can get away with it, right? We don't have the necessary means to stop them. So they're just going to keep getting away with it. And I think that's what's going on here ultimately. So uh, tell you what. In the next video, what we're really going to have to focus on here is the crime situation. Because this is progressing faster than I thought it would. And um, we need to look at this as, as, a, as a very important problem to solve. Okay, because I provide an individual housing for all my peasants, um, but I don't have an army yet. And I do have a very small amount of money and not a lot, but I got a little bit of money um, and not enough. The thing is not enough money to hire you know, mercenaries or anything like that. That's the problem. I can do a, um, a training ground. I can get a warrior's barracks, but I have to be able to get warriors in order to do that. And so for an army, if I wanted to raise an army, for example, um, let's say hypothetically, it was just hers, uh, I would have to raise it from the peasants. Uh, I guess I could do it from... Uh, it says free prisoners. Among the prisoners, there are experienced captive warriors. Ah. In any case, after being freed... They will experience the joy of freedom, making them brave fighters. A, br a freed prisoner cannot be made a prisoner again. Got it. So this is a way to free them and make them be, uh, make them be warriors. Now I wonder what actually is like, they don't have any combat skill at all, you know? So I'm gonna have to look at that. I, I think so far we've managed to handle everyone who's come in to try to attack us. We've managed to stop it, but that doesn't mean we'll stop it every time. So I, I really think we should buckle that down. So for the next video, since we're out of time today, I really want to focus on this on this problem um, because I think I've got the food situation sorted. 
I think. So far, nobody's going hungry. Um, and the fact that I have more rings now is good. I, I, if nothing else, I can sell them. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get to herbs so I can have much better alcohol and things like that. I, I still have to improve how much alcohol I'm producing. And, uh, obviously I need to get like traders and stuff to come in here more often, but, um, there's a lot of stuff I want to do. And I'm thinking because of the state of the world and how violent it is around us. And the fact that we've got now five cutthroats, right? Five of them. Steal gold, rings, and books. They can also kidnap the lords themselves and perform un other tasks for unfriendly neighbors. Yeah. They do not differ in appearance from regular vagabonds. Attention, don't forget to protect your lords. Place a patrol banner near their homes through the construction menu. To combat crime, you can also build scaffolds or pay high salaries and unemployment benefits as preventive measures, which is what I've... I mean, I guess I haven't really been paying high salaries, but the thing I, I guess I don't know, and I, I know I'm dragging the end of this video on now. The thing I'm not aware of is like, does paying high salaries, is that going to make them go from being a vagabond? Can they go back to not being a criminal? Right? Unfortunate unemployed peasants can either leave your city or turn to crime. Vagabonds will steal flour from warehouses, rob citizens in the streets, uh, or even break into other peasants' homes, and after a few days, they may become cutthroats. I don't think they will, unless I build scaffolds, right? I need to build those scaffolds. So that's priority number one in the next video is looking at crime. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll see ya. Bye-bye.